I can't believe you can still find these spec books for under $10. You might want to go pick them up like right now. So let's get started like right now. Comically correct comics. Welcome back to another Comically Correct Comics video. I'm Brian. If you're new here, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Smash a like on your way out if you enjoy the content and um, this channel is all about comic book speculation and CGC unboxings, comic book hauls, but most importantly, and the overall arcing theme is comic book investment and speculation. Um, and today's video is a perfect example of that with seven, key, seven books that you can still find for under $10. And we're just gonna jump right into this. The first one, is Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme number one. Now this is the first appearance of Kushala. And Kushala is a Native American character um, who uh, from the 1800s. And her story is this, when, she, when her tribe was getting attacked by the US Army, she prayed to the ancestors and ended up getting possessed by the spirit of vengeance, right? And so this is what she looks like as Kushala over here. And this is what she looks like as uh, Demon Rider, is, which is her name when she's transformed into the spirit of vengeance, Demon Rider. And so just off the bat, it's an incredible story, uh, an incredible character with incredible potential. But that's not all that this book has going for it. It's also the first appearance of Nina the Conjurer. And it's also the first team appearance of The Forgotten. Now, how does this character tie into Doctor Strange? Well, a little bit more about her story is she did not want to be possessed by the spirit of vengeance. And so she went on a quest to try to cure herself. And in so doing, she learned all kinds of magic and became the Sorcerer Supreme of her time. And there's the tie into Doctor Strange. Um, so just a super compelling story and what's the spec book about this is that in October of 2020 it was announced that Kushala was going to get her own series and Marvel is doing um, uh, some amazing things right now for indigenous peoples um, and they're coming out with new series and they're coming out with uh, new exclusive covers that honor um, indigenous people's artworks, just incredible homage to the indigenous people. And this book could have some serious legs and you can still get it for cover price. I mean, I, I just, I'm just blown away by this. Now, here's something that happened. The last time I did a video like this, um, I put out, it was Something is Killing Your Children, number one. I said, this is a hot book. You got to go pick it up. It was uh, keys under $100. And oftentimes what happens is it might take me a week or a week and a half for a video to post after I film it. And by the time that that video had actually posted, you couldn't find a copy of Something is Killing the Children, number one, for under $100 anywhere. It already gone way past that. And so one of my subscribers was like, where are you finding this for under hundred bucks? I want to get one for under hundred bucks. And I felt bad because it was like, it was like the first day that the video posted and I was like, oh shit, you know, he's right. This could be a thing where um, I need to either put the video out like right away or do the video like live or something or somehow come up with a workaround around this where I can still post these videos because they're still valuable. And so say you were to look at that video like two months down the road um, and it would still be an interesting video because you can look at when it was posted and you would say, oh yeah, it's way above a hundred bucks, but he posted it two months ago. So it, it still has value um, as that. But here's what I'm gonna do. So for this book in particular, this video is seven uh, spec books under $10. So if by the time I post this one, because I highly uh, suspect that this one will go well above $10, if it um, goes well above $10, by the time I post this video, and I still have copies because I have a bunch of copies of this, 
I will sell it to you for 10 bucks. You just pay for shipping. So, you know, I don't know what the future could be. That could be a worthless offer if it's, nothing happens with this book, or maybe this book's worth $30, $40 or $20 or something, and it'd be a great offer. So while supplies last, if I have them in stock, I will sell it to you for 10 bucks myself because I got it for less than cover price. So I'm happy to do that for you. Um, and I'm always thinking of ways to provide value to my subscribers, like why should they be subscribed to my channel? And there's two things, there's two reasons why um, I would subscribe to a channel like this. One is valuable information, and two is valuable comic books, deals on comics. So in this video, you're gonna get both. You got an option for valuable comics at a, at a killer price and valuable information for free. And so I really would appreciate it if you hit subscribe and smash the like um, to help the channel and help me continue to do videos like this. So let's go over the covers of Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme number one. You've got cover A, boom. You've got cover, you've got a one in 25 cover. You've got a one in 15 design variant cover. You've got a champions cover with Nova and uh, Ghost Rider. I believe it's Cosmic Ghost Rider, which is an interesting cover because I thought at first, I thought, oh, is that Kushala as the Demon Rider? And it's not, it's just a regular Ghost Rider. So that would have been a really cool cover if it was also the first appearance of, the first cover appearance of Kushala, but it's not, it's just regular Ghost Rider. Then you have an action figure variant, which uh, is Nina the Conjurer. So that's a sick cover because that is, um, the first cover appearance of Nina the Conjurer and inside is her first full appearance. So that's a cool cover. And then you also have a hip hop variant. And in the hip hop variant, um, this is a cover homage to uh, the album by Schoolboy Q and um, just a super sick um, hip hop cover. So tons of different covers, tons of different um, um, options for for this book next up we have dr strange volume four number one and this is the 2015 series now this book is a spec book because of is because this is the first appearance of zelma stanton and there's spec around this book because some people think that the recent casting of sochitl gomez i think that's how you say her name sochitl um, there's spec around the fact that she might, may have been cast for this character, Zelma Stanton, but there's also spec that Xochitl Gomez was cast for Miss America, which I think is more likely. So be careful around this spec. Don't go too hard on, on this one, but you can still find it for under cover price. So you may want to pick, pick one up, um, if you can get it cheap. There's tons of different cover variants, including a hip hop cover, which is the homage to Dr. Dre's The Chronic album, which is a dope cover. That was a huge part of my childhood, was that that album. Not really childhood, more like high school years, but um, anyways, uh, that's a dope, a dope cover regardless. Next up, we have Secret, Inva Secret Invasion number one. Now, this is a spec book because of the story arc, okay? There's no first appearances, I don't believe. Um, nothing too significant that happens inside the book, but it's the story arc itself that's under spec. So there's been two separate rumors that Secret Invasion was going to get its own, um, was going to be the, the story arc that several different series are based around um, on a Disney Plus series um, and also on the... Um, upcoming Nick Fury Disney Plus series. So it's the story arc that's spec and you can still find this one for undercover price. All right, so next up we have Batman Shadow of the Bat number three. So this book is from around 1990 um, and it's the first appearance of Amygdala. And here's an image of Amygdala fighting Batman on the cover of Detective Comics 659. Amygdala is an interesting character. He has superhuman strength, but reduced mental capacity. Um, I don't know. Can you think of anybody you know like that? But anyways, um, uh, you can find this for around 3 to $5. Uh, this was an era where newsstands and directs were both plentiful. It's right around the time when they were about equal. So you can find newsstands for the same price as direct. So you might as well pick up a newsstand. Um, if you're gonna go for this book. Up next, we have Osborne number one. Now, this book is awesome. It's a, the first appearance of Toxidoxy, 
who later becomes Scarlet Witch. But the character's real name is June Covington. Okay, so Toxie Doxy later becomes Scarlet Witch. Real name is June Covington. And um, this might be a super long shot. So in, in a trailer for the new WandaVision series, there is a newspaper with a headline title that announces the birth of a child named June. Now, and so that's the, the tie-in, is that maybe this character is going to be in the show because her real name is June Covington. You know, that's the way these things go with spec, but usually specs like this, like in my experience, you know, often turn out um, to, to be true because nothing in a trailer for a show is coincidental. Nothing is um, unintentional. And so, you know, as, as it, it is technically a long shot, I think it could be worth picking up. If anything else, it's still a first appearance, first appearance of Toxie Doxie. Um, you can find the regular cover and you can also find a, I believe it's a one in 15 variant cover, which is more rare. And, um, you can find them for around 10 bucks, a lot of times under 10 bucks. What's also interesting about this one is it came out in 2011. So you can find a newsstand version and it would be super rare. I mean, it's way le like 5% or less of this print run was newsstand and how many of those made it to collectors is, is unknown. So this particular barcode is hard to tell the difference between a direct and newsstand. You have to look pretty close to see it. So you could potentially find a newsstand listed at direct edition price. Next up, we have New Titans number 73. So this is the first cameo appearance of Pantha. And it's also the first appearance of Phantasm, who is rumored to appear in Titans Season 3. You can still find this book super cheap for around 3 to 5 bucks. Next up, we have Detective Comics number 743. Now, this is the first appearance of Whisper Adair and Kyle Abbott. Whisper is rumored to appear in the Batwoman TV show. You can still find it for under $10 and look for that newsstand because this is from around 2000. So it's starting to get to that point where it's, it's definitely more rare to find a newsstand and you might be able to find a newsstand listed at direct edition price. You're welcome. So there you have it guys, seven spec books for under $10 and um, if any of these have taken off and you're watching this and you can't find a copy for under $10 and I have one, which is highly likely, hit me up on Instagram under the same name at Comically Correct Comics and I will sell you a copy for $10. You just pay for shipping. Um, if you're not already following me over there on Instagram, make sure you do because I'm always doing some awesome giveaways um, and try to have some fresh content that's a little bit different over there. Try to have fresh content on all the different platforms. But I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for all the support, for the likes, the subscribes, uh, the comments. Please leave a comment down below. Which one of these spec books is your favorite? Mine is definitely Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme number one. I think that book has some serious legs on it. Um, and we'll see how that pans out. But as always, make sure you're having fun doing this, that you're specking responsibly and collect what you want to collect. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.